What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got our butts kicked by a Volcarona. Yeah, literally had to use the Master Ball on it. Um, I did fulfill that promise that I was going to be training off screen. Just to level up my Pokemon just a little bit, you know. To get at least close enough for all these trainers that, are, that, that, we're, that is on our way here. And now, in this episode right here, we're going to be getting two two uh, two of the seven stages in one episode because they're so close by right here now the next uh, person in, in the seven stages you can actually find in the cold storage now if you don't remember we visited the cold storage not so long ago when we uh, entered Driftvale, uh, Driftvale City and they were just hiding out in the cold storage for no apparent reason do not know why and well I'm just gonna make it easy on us and just uh, use a repel because I, I, you know, yeah, there's no need for me to just like, you know, battle all these Pokemon right here. And so let's go ahead and find that repel. There it is. Alright, 200 steps free, a Pokemon free, and all that stuff. Let's go. Here we are, cold storage. And why isn't it opening? Wait, isn't this the cold storage? I don't even know. Wrong way. Is it this one? Hold on. Okay, so there it is. This is the cold storage right here, guys. Completely forgotten. So like I said, we visited this place a while back, and it was quite an adventure. It was kind of cold. We defeated some uh, some uh, ice-type trainers right here along the way, and well, now we just have to find the next guy right here. I think his name is Zizloin. I don't even remember, but I'm just trying to find my way around here. God dang, I'm in the loop right here, so I can't go anywhere. Uh, I'm assuming that we have to go up top. I don't know. It's been a while, guys. Uh, I noticed that I, I started this episode, this this walkthrough, like in May or April. April? Yeah, April. April of this year. God dang it. And yeah, four months had gone by real quickly, guys. It really has. Uh, again, pandemic. Really, really irritated of the fact that you know we are still in a pandemic and we're still talking pandemic and all that stuff. But, you know, what a better way to waste some time than to watch your Pokemon walkthroughs right here. And where in the double H-E double hunky sticks are we here? Let's see. Going up here, 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 and down here. Okay, so we finally got it. All right, wrong way. We've already battled all these trainers, so there's no need for us to just, like, worry or anything. The, need, the thing that we need to do is just find another of the seven sages and then just be on our way right here. So now we're going to go straight down the middle, and our repel has worn off. Didn't really need that repel at all. And here it is. Going straight forward. You will actually find Zizalun right here. So, you return. You're an on-trainer. All right. I've got time enough to satisfy your curiosity. Okay, so what's going on here, homeboy? Breathing. Having a heart that beats. That is simple existence and nothing more for a living being. That may be the definition of living, but I don't think that defines life. He's just pounding a while ago. The experiences of joy and suffering at our vital uh, part being of alive. Getsis gave me that sensation of truly being alive. What did he mean to accomplish? That isn't what's important. Oh, he's looking left and right. Oh, damn. Right now, I'm shivering and suffering, but I'm alive. This guy is kind of creeping me out. I don't know why he's like pacing left and right. Pokemon and people live by being together and relying on one another. That might be how you feel. If that's so, is it necessary to separate people and Pokemon? By talking to you, I discovered that there's much I need to think about. I wish I had more to give you in thanks. Here, take this. And we get ourselves a TM01 Home Claws, another, you know, ability booster or just, you know, stats booster and all that stuff. And, again, he's pacing left and right. Of course, he's, get, he's, he's cold. He's cold. My Lord Anne said that he wanted to, to, to make Pokemon perfect. But even if their relationship, the, the relationship between Pokemon and people stayed as it is now, Pokemon can aspire to perfection. And would you look at that. Homeboy here is here. Looker, indeed! I am an officer of the International Police, and I demand to hear all you know about Team Plasma! It's so it's too cold and I already and I'm already tired and shivering in here. If you'll give me some time to think, I'll tell you what I know. So take me with you. 
<laughs> Thanks many times over. Now gets his notwithstanding, there are yet uh, remains two of the seven sages still at large. The thoughts they are con uh, contemplating, the hopes that they are anticipating. These these are the what I want to know until our next meeting. Well, that was quick. That was very, very quick. So like I said, guys, we're going to get two of the seven sages in one episode. There really is no need for me to just, like, separate these episodes right now. Um, the next one is going to be at, char at the Chargestone ca Cave. If you don't remember, that is the place with all the electricity and all that crud. And, yeah, I'm pretty much looking forward to doing going there. So, let's see. I'm going to go into the next town. Because I believe it's a little bit quicker from where I'm supposed to be heading. I'm not going to go straight through all that stuff that's going on around that area. So, here we go, Miss Stralton City. And now, we're going to be going inside the Chargestone Cave, the back end of it. And, of course, I forgot to wear a rappel because, yeah, Draven is a clunkhead. He is. And look at this, Hotshot right here looking all souped up and ready to go. But he's not going to defeat him. Level 62 and all. And, well, let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Good thing they have two experience shares because that, that, that made training a little bit easier for me right here. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Ace right now. And what else do we need to do right here? Let's see. Repels, of course. So we don't need that. Like, we, we don't need to get attacked by any Pokemon. Now, good thing about this is too that we actually uh, let's see it, it's gonna be easier for us to find this guy this time around it's just finding him where and well we've already been here he's probably down here somewhere I can't remember where but as you can see this is where the shadow triad actually took us and all that stuff and yeah not going to oh, snap yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. That might be a Pokemon right there. Do not want to mess with that. So moving that forward right there. Let's see where this takes us. Again, I am looking for the guy from the Shadow Triad right here. Not the Shadow Triad, but I'm talking about the uh, the the, the witch I'm gonna call it, the Seven Sages and all that stuff. So it might take a while. I don't know. So let's see. Let's see if I can find him here. Already beat those. God dang it! Okay, so I think we're in the second, we're not even in the bo uh, second bottom floor right here, but here we have Drillbur, a good Pokemon that we've already captured a while back, so definitely don't want that Pokemon right now. We already got him. He's uh, he's he's in the PC somewhere. Oh yeah, and I did train him too, just uh, for this very occasion. So let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. So it would seem that the one the one of the seven sages, I can't remember his name, hold on. Bronius, yes, Bronius, he is in the second bottom floor, so I'm just going to be you know, I'm gonna be going left and right and whatever. So I'm just gonna be exploring, babbling on about how Dra how cool Draven is and all that stuff. I think you guys like that, I don't know. And here we go. Going around here, and I don't know what floor we're in, but we've defeated most of these trainers right here. And yes, at random, these Pokemon will be coming out and attacking us and all that stuff. And here he is. Found you. When I saw you in Castelia, I did not care about your existence. Here in the Charge, the charge Stone Cave, gets his tested your ability once more we test uh, we will test you you to learn what it is you are team plasma come out oh damn okay so what's going on here Bronius of the seven sages I will bring this kid down okay so yes finally a battle I've been aching for that I'm pretty sure many of you guys have been uh, looking for that too. So here we go, another battle against the Team Plasma Grunt. And now this time, they're going to be a little souped up themselves. Look at this, level 63 Pokemon. And luckily for me, I did train my Pokemon to the level 60s, thanks to those two rare candies as well. So, let's see. You know what? Let's go with the Surf Attack. Surf Turf for the win. Scotland from Scotland. Let's 
going to defeat this crazy... Oh, wow. I was about to say, defeat this crazy-eyed uh, Pokemon right here. This Baton Pass is uh, going to switch him out with a Scrappy. Now, this right here is a bad, 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 bad idea because Scrappy is a Fighting-type Pokemon. So, I will be switching it up right here to Gigalift, the awesome Pokemon. More than likely, Scrappy right here might be using some kind of Fighting-type move. So... Gigalift, let's get this. And yes, I have avoided the attack. Now, let's go with the fly attack right here. Hopefully, this guy tries to go with like a high jump kick so it can hurt himself. And nope, that facade tried to do something. So here we go. Fly attack for the win. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Defeated him. More experience points for all of us right here. And he will be coming out with a launch dog. So let's go ahead and go with our little Scrafty, aka Shadar. Shadar the Scrafty right here. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's get it. And there is a Shadar versus a launch dog. And here we go with a high jump kick for the win. Super Fang doesn't do a thing to us. And look at this. Say goodbye to Watch Dog. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and oh yeah. The strength that they, they beat my lord in. See, he does, he does see. Team Plasma, this kid is a real thing. Because of you, I'm now X Team Plasma. Being an X doesn't sound cool, does it? How are you going to make it up to me? Uh, I don't know, just beat you in a Pokemon battle. I don't know. I really, 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 really don't know. Let's just battle right here. So, here we go. A Team Plasma Grunt, and it is a female, and she will be coming out with her live bird. It lies to you, you know. It's July. July. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this return attack. And here comes that nasty plot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get this. And look at that. Return attack does it for the win. Stella from Scotland kicking butt taking names. And now we're going to be switching it up. This guy's coming out with a Garbodor. Um, I'm assuming it's a bug type, so let's go straight to Hot Shot right here. It's coming in hot. Just like the Fajita. <laughs> that song right there is pretty awesome. And, oh crap. Okay, so, yeah. Don't really know most of my Pokemon, so let's go with the strength attack right here. Let's go, Hotshot. Oh, yeah. Hotshot. For the win. Nope, it's still... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, what the heck is that? I do not know, but that one was really, really bad, and... Wow, it took a lot of HP, so let's go with the Fire Punch, see what it can do for us. Oh, yes. And there we go. Garbador defeated. Hotshot victorious. And Ace grows to level 62. Sign of the Torrent is getting some more points. And we're just going to keep it right here. Hotshot may get a hit off on this guy. We will see. Let's go with the superpower right here. And here we go with the snatch attack. I don't even know why you used the snatch, man. You had the up. You had the perfect opportunity to make me faint. I don't know why you did that. So here we go. Uh, what was it? Superpower. Superpower for the win. Eat it. And yes, my my stats go down. But guess what? It's okay. We still won. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that. How do you like me now? And he's like, an X-Team Plasma member becomes an ordinary Pokemon trainer. This was the moment. That moment, I should say. The Pokemon of our Team Plasma are also fighting for their trainers. It was so obvious that I overlooked it. Thank you for reminding me of that. Here, I'd like you to take this. And look at that. We get ourselves a TM69 Rock Polish. A very, very uh, good move as well. And, well... He's going to be like, Pokemon, do their best for their trainers, even when they are injured. I wonder whether my Lord N understands what that means. And, wow. Out of nowhere, homeboy here, Looker, is back. 
on the topic of Team Plasma. I'm an officer of the International Police. You would uh, be wise to share all you know. Those who left Team Plasma and are behaving with respect and understanding toward Pokemon. Them, please forgive. However, those who won't interact with uh, Pokemon in a kind of honest way, even I will never forgive them. Oh well. Truly, I thank you. Now Getz is notwithstanding, there yet remains but one of the seven states still at large. Their innermost thoughts, their uttermost hopes. These I must shall discover. Once more, a brief farewell. Okay. So that was that. We got one more of the seven sages, guys. But unfortunately, that guy is all the way to the west. North, no, to the east of Unova. Now, it's going to be an adventure right there. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we have not discovered. We haven't gone to. Hell, we haven't even gone to these areas uh, ever on, uh, on my channel right here. So I'm actually very, very excited to get there. Now, normally I would end the episode right here. But there is, uh, there is one little thing. Maybe one or two things that I kind of want to do before, before I take off. Or, you know, sign off on this. I know that I said that, you know, I wasn't gonna, I was gonna go straight for the Seven Sages and nothing else. Well, maybe I want to share, maybe I want to do a little, a little something extra just to, you know, just to uh, keep it entertaining for all of you guys right here. So, I'm gonna try and find my way out of here and just talk about me because I am awesome. I'm just playing. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about my, myself. Not really that great of a guy. Comment down below. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. Okay, so now that's taken care of. Now we're going to be going straight up to, well, Route, whatchamacallit, uh, Route 7 right here. Now, if you guys remember, once you defeat the Pokemon, uh, the 8th Gym Battle, the 8th Gym Leader, something crazy is going to happen in this area right here. All right, once you defeated uh, the 8th Gym Leader, there, was a, there will be a report of crazy weather around this area right here. Now, if you go straight forward to the extra house of the west of this area right here, if I could just show you, something big is going to happen, and I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna run, and as you can see, it is swarming right here. Holy crap. Look at that. You can't see anything, and here we go. My, my, that Pokemon has come again, too! Oh, damn. What the hell's going on? Now, now, child, don't you go heading in, uh, into the tall grass. That Pokemon might try to, uh, might be too much for you. We'll catch cold standing around talking in, uh, in the wind and rain. It's not much, but come stay in my home uh, for, a home for a spell. And, of course, you can hear the freaking jets, so it kind of just shows what, what's going on. I can actually picture it all that stuff. Thanks a lot, U.S. Uh, Air Force. Oh, crud. Okay, even a youngin like yourself will catch a cold if you get soaked by the cold rain. Sit right down and have us some soup, why don't you? Sure, that's nice. A youngin like you should, uh, shouldn't be shy. In the Unova region, you see there is a Pokemon called Tornadus that causes windstorms. It flees around the region while letting loose wild winds and pounding rain. Have a soup now, dear. It will warm, up, it'll warm you up. And, oh wow, I'm loving this. A soup jam packed with healthy vegetables. It is delicious. The heavy, rain, the heavy rain is ruining the crops I've worked so hard to raise. What a troublesome Pokemon. I thought I would try to catch it, but it flies around so fast that I, even I can't, uh, even when I thought I had found it, it just flew away. In one day, it can make a lap around the uh, entire Unova region. In the mornings, in the it's in the south, and in the evenings, it's in the north. It shows up here in the evenings. Huh. Okay, so those are good clues right there. So like I said before, guys, once you defeated the 8th Gym Leader and you're about to head into the Pokemon League, the the, uh, the, 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 toll, the toll person will actually tell you that there's been some strange readings, and this is it. So now, once this happens, you step outside. It is perfectly fine, but... Uh oh. Something happens. Oh, but Jeebus. Tornadus. Oh, damn, it looks like a genie. Okay. 
And it is changing the weather just like that. Whoa, what a storm! Apparently it's the Pokemon's doing. And bam. So just like that, oh wow, it is changing the weather and it is gone. Wow. So, Tornadus, Landris, uh, Thunderous. Okay, so Tornadus and Landris are both the roaming Pokemon. In Pokemon Black, you'll get Tornadus. Pokemon White, you'll get Thunderous. If you have them both together, you'll be able to get uh, Landris at some point, uh, which I will be featuring in uh, the separate episode on how to capture these extra Pokemon right here. Now, there is one more thing that I want to do here before I sign off, and that is go straight to the, uh, what was it? The Celestial Tower, I believe. Hold on. Yes. So, there is somebody up there that is waiting for us. Somebody that we should have been battling for quite some time right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, use another repel because I do not want to battle any more Pokemon trainers or Pokemon. So let's go straight to the uh, entrance right here. Hold on. It's a long, long, long way up. It's like a good workout. So if you guys remember, we actually been here uh, when uh, Winona, I think? Can't be Winona. Skyla. Yeah, Skyla was up here because something had been going on with some Pokemon right here. That turned out to be, I believe, one of the legendary Pokemon, either Zekrom or Reshiram, whatever uh, version you're playing. And then it led to the events with Anne and Team Plasma. Now, we've already defeated everybody. You can actually capture some Ghost-type Pokemon right here if you wanted to. I remember in my very first Pokemon Black walkthrough when I played as Draven XE 7-Eleven, I actually caught myself a Lantern, I think, a Lantine, or whatever it was called. Yeah, not really good with that, with the names and all that stuff, but we're going to be going up here. And here we are in the top, and believe it or not, guess who's waiting for us up there? It is Akuma himself. Oh, damn. And he's hitting that bell. Oh, damn. What the hell's going on? What are you doing, Akuma? Akuma Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Da, 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 da. My old partner is resting here in the Celestial Tower. It was the first Pokemon I received when I became a trainer. I come here to ring the bell and cover its spirit. It was a strong Pokemon. It was a courageous, noble, and kind. Together we madly pursued strength without even knowing the meaning of strength. But in the same way that all stories have the beginning and an end, all lives have to end as well. It was, it was uh, then that I understood that strength isn't something that remains unchanged forever. However, the joy one feels in being with Pokemon, that is the real thing. In order to spread the world, I, I left the Pokemon League and kept traveling. That's right, traveling is wonderful. I've met many different trainers, many different tra uh, Pokemon, many different trainers, I should say. And now I've met all of you. Well, Draven, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokemon League. Okay. So it looks like we've enabled our ourselves to make it into the Pokemon League now. Um, yeah, there is... You know, there is just one more person, one more, uh, there is actually one more challenge, and that is, uh, you know, the Pokemon League, but we still need to, we still need to do quite a few things before we head over there. Now, I touched, uh, I touched upon the easiest, uh, you know, the easiest, uh, sages to get to. Very, very easy. As you can see, we're in the Celestial Tower right now, and the next person might be in Lacun, what was it called again? Lukunusa Town, the Giant Chasm, I believe. Um, no, actually, it's going to be in Undela Town, and then we still have to explore Black City because there is something else going on there too. We can go to the Pokemon League right now, but I have decided that you know what, we have to go straight to. Uh, I think we have to go straight to. Let's see, this is. Our first entrance will be in Nimbasa City, so we're going to be going straight to Nimbasa, and we're going to be going straight to Black City, making our way all the way to Undela City, and then finishing it up right here in Lucunosa, uh, Lucunosa Town. And whatever happens in between that time, it, you know, it all depends because I believe there is one more, there is one more uh, legendary Pokemon that we still need to catch, 
and there are quite a few people that we need to visit, battle, and all that stuff. And then, of course, there's that one more, uh, one more sage from the, the seven sage sages that we need to actually find and all that stuff. After that, we're going straight to the Pokemon League and finish this the, the whole walk, finally. So that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for having the patience and all that stuff, me babbling on and all that crud. And, uh, well, stay tuned. We got, like, quite a few more episodes left until this walkthrough ends. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.